Okay, using StatCrunch for example uh, number two, testing hypothesis regarding two population standard deviations. So if you take a look here, in this example, we have um, uh, Cisco system stock, which has 10 data values, and we have General Electric stock, which has 14 data values. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter those values into StatCrunch. So we have a column for Cisco, there's our numbers, a column for GE. And then let's go back to the instructions of how they want us to perform this. So if necessary, we entered the raw data into the first two columns of the spreadsheet, which is what we've done. And then we named the columns of the variables. And now we're going to go ahead and select variant stats. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go to stat and then go to variant stats. And since we have two columns, we have a two sample and we have with data. So we're going to hit enter. Sample one is going to be the first column, which is Cisco. Sample two is the second column, which is GE. According to our problem, this is going to equal one for our, our null. So that should always equal one. And our hypothesis, we need to make sure that we know whatever our claim is for the alternative hypothesis. And that is greater than according to our problem. And then we're going to select compute. Now when we so select compute, then we should get this information here. Okay, and this information, what does it tell us? Well, down here it tells us that the number of degrees of freedom in the numerator is 9. The denominator degrees of freedom is 13. We have our F statistic, which is 7.52. And we can see that we get a VET p-value of 0 0.0007.